Have you ever been marveled at the astonishing sight of a lunar eclipse? Some myths allude to eclipses as being due to supernatural power. Make sure nothing is to be feared, as Marie Curie said, it is only to be understood. During the following video, let's explore it and then understand it. First of all, the obvious question you might ask yourself is, what is an eclipse? Keep in mind that an eclipse happens when three celestial bodies line up in space so that one of them gets temporarily obscured. Undoubtedly, the sun is a source of light. It shines on Earth, creating a shadow, which can be divided at least into two main parts. While the umbra is the dark inner one, the penumbra is the faint outer one. The moon revolves around the Earth once a month. Thus, its relative location to the sun with a perspective to Earth changes. Sometimes it passes through Earth's shadow. The sun, Earth, the moon become aligned. Then guess what? We get a lunar eclipse. Well, it can only happen as full moon, since the moon is directed away from the sun and can be seen everywhere on the night side of the Earth. A lunar eclipse is penumbral when the moon passes through Earth's penumbra, partial when a portion of the moon passes through Earth's umbra. At that time, the border between the umbra and penumbra is seen to be a part of a circle. Since it's the projection of Earth's circumference, it proves that Earth's shape is spherical. A lunar eclipse may also be total when the moon is fully in Earth's umbra. But if sunlight is blocked, why does the moon appear red? Look out and you will find that indirect sunlight still manages to illuminate it. When light first goes straight from the sun, it passes deep through Earth's atmosphere, striking its particles, then it gets scattered as the wavelength gets shorter. Thus, colors such as blue are filtered out more strongly than those like red. The process is called relay scattering. To further explain that, let's take a look at this simple experience. When using a dispersion prism, or even better, a diffraction gradient, light is broken up into the colors of the rainbow. As the blue part is taken away by our atmosphere, colors such as red or orange remain. As in Earth, they get refracted back to the moon's surface, giving it its reddish glow, the reason why such eclipse is sometimes called blood moon. Lunar eclipses are easily skywatching. You don't have to use a protective filter. You should just go out, look up with your naked eyes, and enjoy the view. Thank you for watching.